So you have your man go with Mr. Laszlo and take care of his luggage. Certainly, Rick. Anything you say. Try Mr. Laszlo's luggage and put it on the plane. Yes, sir. This way, please. If you don't mind, you fill in the names. That'll make it even more official. You think of everything, don't you? And the names are Mr. and Mrs. Victor Laszlo. But why my name, Richard? Because you're getting on that plane. I don't understand. What about you? I'm staying here with him until the plane gets safely away. No, Richard, no. What has happened to you? Last night, Last said... night we said a great many things. You said I was to do the thinking for both of us. Well, I've done a lot of it since then. It all adds up to one thing. You're getting on that plane with Victor where you belong. But, Richard, no, I... Now, I... you've got to listen to me. Do you have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed here? Nine chances out of ten, we'd both wind up at a concentration camp. Isn't that true, Louis? I'm afraid, Major Strauss, I would insist. You're saying this only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. You're part of his work, the thing that keeps him going. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? You'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we, we lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. And I said I would never leave you. And you never will. And I've got a job to do, too. Where I'm going, you can't follow. What I've got to do, you can't be any part of. Bill, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. Ah, no. He's looking at you, kid. 